Hello, my name is Penelope and I'm from Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. I'm 59 and I was diagnosed with ME, CFS and fibromyalgia 10 years ago. Because of my overwhelming needs and illness, I've lost my profession and career, being no longer able to work, like many of you. I've lost connections with friends. I've lost connections with community, even with church. I've lost family. This poem is about somewhere where I found that I can connect. Even in the midst of great fatigue, even when I'm in pain, in the dark hours of the night. FB, written on the 10th of the 10th, 16. I comment and share. Suddenly I feel that relief, an idea shared, a laugh, an anger, a grief, a love shared. It may be the push of a button. It may be a virtual remote wall. But then come likes and dislikes, even trolls, but it's shared. Ignoring or being kind to the trolls, turning off the bullies, examining who likes, replies, others' comments, I share. It's a small part of the world but it's much bigger than my own reality. Here I can join, belong, follow, consider, try my words. I have long minutes, hours, even days to think about my response. The relief that my comment doesn't really count allows freedom to make it count to the person who matters, me. So in the vast amorphous mass, where we meet faceless, soundless, floating in the eons of the internet, I can in fact find me. Find my choices, places, likes, loves, angers, tears, wows, hearts, and so much more. It is a place to connect. How real the connection, you may ask? How real is any connection, I conclude? Deception, manipulation, falsehood, indiscretion, withholding, judging, all exist face to face, voice to voice, eye to eye, ear to ear body to body. Real trolls, real bullies, also exist in real life. So in this book, I step, explore, consider, tiptoe, frolic, scroll, stop, read, like, follow, flip, block, belong, find and enjoy me. It's my book, my face. Thank you. This next poem is one about the terrible, terrible confusion of fibro fog and fatigue fog. I'm trying to recall what was it I thought? And if I write, open my hand with 2B in hand and paper before, will it rise, shake loose, come out when bidden? Like I lost the keys, lost glasses, lost gift or chocolate, placed carefully to avoid casual exposure by another, but not really hidden, just placed safely until needed, and yet where placed eludes. I know they are there, 
my thoughts, my glasses, my keys, that specially placed birthday surprise, that delicious chocolate, all there, not lost, safely in my head, my home, but where? Neurons scramble, eyes flash, hands search, room to room, anxious, asking where, where, where? Frustrated, feeling thwarted, if only I could ring my glasses, ring my keys, ring that gift, ring those chocolate, ring those thoughts, so I could pounce and show on my face, in my bag, in grateful memory, in mouth, on paper. I would write what I remembered. Good thoughtful, mellowed, brewed in brain with time and space. I would write what's rich, considered, processed, deep. Instead, I write of misplaced thoughts and misplaced things. Misplaced or displaced. Failing to write immediately, failing to notate, scribble, contain a memory or thought. It can be displaced and flirt, float on the murky, treacherous brain soup in my head. Like displaced people everywhere. Looking for a shore, a kind connection, a place to be safe and secure a place to belong. So I will wait, breathing deeply, looking kindly across the murky muddle, offering peace to that jangled brain soup. I will write each day I will invite kindly thoughts, ideas, images, words, rhythm, lines and whole displaced poems to come. Calmly, routinely, regularly I will write. The brain soup to try to make sense Invite safe landing on this scribbled page and not censor what arrives at this time. All has a place when I scribble. All are welcome on this notebook island. Later, I will look closer at form and place, worth and story, where you might be strong enough to go on somewhere, but you can always safely remain here. As for the scabby frustration of lost glasses, keys, secret gifts, forbidden chocolates, out of reach and mind, really? Find a place, put it there, find some method in the madness. Don't waste time and effort and emotion. These are the routines of life, nothing more or less. And yet in seeking, perhaps a new neuron is connected, challenged and I learn. Perhaps. Thank you.